Hey YouTube, it's Charisse here again, back at it with another video. I went to Ulta and I also stopped by Belk, which is a department store that we have down here in the South, in case you don't live in the South. And I was foundation hunting. There are some foundations. I have a list of about five or six that I have been really wanting to try. And now that fall is approaching and I know that I'm going to be kind of switching shades back to my normal, well I don't want to say normal, but my like winter fall winter color I'm in the market for some foundations that I can wear that will transition me back to my lighter skin tone so I went to Ulta and they didn't have the foundations I was looking for but they sell them online but they don't sell them in the Ulta that's near me so the ladies kindly directed me to the mall in Rock Hill, Rock Hill here in Rock Hill so I went to the mall and I went to Belk because that's the department store that has all the makeup and stuff and I first went to the Estee Lauder counter and I met this awesome woman named Alyssa who helped me out and tried to color match me for the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. But they didn't have the exact shade that I really wanted to try. We found a shade that matched me pretty well, which was Rich Mahogany 6. C2 and then I was like but you know we're going into winter and I'm gonna get lighter so then it, she matched me again to truffle and what we use to match because I had on a full face of makeup is we use the darker part of my arm to match um, the first time and then we use the other side of my arm which is lighter which is more of my uh, winter color you can see the drastic difference between the two we use the lighter color of my arm as like my winter color and I wanted to start, try and see if I could get a color in the middle but they didn't have any in that store because they don't of course they don't give a lot of the darker shades to anywhere it seems like. So I was a little salty about that but she assured me that she would make me some samples so I have some samples and I will be testing those out um, to show you guys in the future but I will be purchasing the Estee Lauder Devil Wear Foundation on the 29th they're having like this big promotion. Uh, Makeup Shayla actually just made a video about it. You get this goodie bag, you get your choice of a keychain, you get some of their skincare products and things like that. So I'm going to wait to get that one. So I was, today I wanted to get either Estee Lauder Devil Wear or I wanted to try one of the two Clinique foundations that I'm interested in. So after I finished up with Alyssa, who was great and wonderful, awesome um, beauty consultant for Estee Lauder, after I finished up with her, I went to the Clinique cal counter, not calendar, counter, and the lady had just gone on her lunch break. So Alyssa then again helped me, and I told her, I already know the shade I think that I am, so if you could just pull the foundations out of the drawers and we can go check it out. Um, so I decided to go with C Key Beauty's favorite foundation, her Ride or Die foundation, which is the Clinique Stay Matte Oil-Free Makeup. And my roommate also used to wear this foundation. It looked great on her. And it looks great on Seeky Beauty. And I've always been interested in this one just because it is... I've heard good things about it. And I got the shade 29 Sienna. Deep Neutral. I think that's what the D-N stands for. So you can see I took off the powder foundation that I had on earlier. And we're going to try this out right now. I did not swatch or anything. I just went straight for the deepest shade. Um, this is the Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Foundation. It's allergy tested, 100% fragrance free, sheer to moderate coverage. <laughs> Natural matte finish. It's an oil controlling makeup. Oil controlling makeup absorbs shine so skin looks fresh, flawless all day. Lightweight gel cream formula wears beautifully and comfortably. Oil free, perfect for all but the driest skins. So we're going to test this out. Again, I have the shade Sienna, number 29, which looks like this, which I think actually is going to be a good match, but we'll see. And I love that it's in a squeezy tube, because one of my other favorite foundations from the drugstore is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous is in a squeezy tube like that, and it is a gel cream formula. So I'm hoping this is going to be like the higher end version of that. And this retails for $25, I believe. It's either $25 or $27. Um, let's see if there's any directions on it. It just says all of the same things. There's no directions. So we're going to hop right in. It has a little 
silver thing on the bottom so you know that it wasn't opened or used by anyone. Cool, cool. I'm going to be using a brush, even though See He Beauty uses a beauty blender. I'm going to use a brush, and we'll do half my face so we can kind of compare. Oh, it's very liquidy. Man, I have all these molds on my face. I wish I had like a um, better camera so you guys could see. And from the looks of it, it looks like this color is going to be a great match for me. Using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to blend this in to my skin. Oh, yeah. Do you see that color? This is a beautiful shade. And it's so lightweight. Yes, very lightweight. It's a little orangey, but it's not bad. I like it a lot. It blends into my skin well. It says that it's fragrance free, but it kind of smells um, like, uh, what does it smell like? It smells like something. It reminds me of something. But I can't remember what. Smells like that's half my face. And it definitely is a medium coverage, I would say. So we're gonna see if I can add more coverage. I'm gonna go in with another layer. It smells like what foundation does this smell like? It reminds me of something, but I cannot put my finger on the name. I'm doing some dabbing motions to see if that will give me more coverage. And yes, it does. Okay. So that's it on half my face. It's looking a little orangey. But in the mirror, in person, it looks quite nice. I like the way it feels. It's very lightweight. It's buildable coverage. Um, easy to blend. So far, I'm really liking it. So I'm going to do the other half of my face. Sorry, my nose is like really itchy, like right here. It's not on the inside of my nose, but y'all can see it's like on the edge. So we're going to do the other side now. Let me see if I can just apply more on the first try. So I don't have to add any additional product. Also, we're going to do some more dabbing motions to blend it in. But yeah, it dries. Ooh, it's kind of tacky. So we'll have to set it with some powder. I was going to see maybe I can wear this without setting it. But no, we're going to set it with some powder. But it definitely does set. It looks like it sets to a perfectly dry finish, but the right hand side of my face that I started on is a little tacky feeling. Being careful around my brows. Mm. 
Okay. So far, I'm really liking the coverage and the finish. It has like a natural matte finish. You can see this side has set some. So it's a little bit darker. This side's still orangey and kind of wet looking. But yeah, I really like the color of this. I think this is going to be a really good shade to help me transition to my lighter shade. It's not as dark as my body is, but it's not as light as my chest is. It's kind of in the middle, and that's kind of the foundation shade that I'm kind of looking for right now. Something that's in the middle of everything. And of course, I can always bring it all together with um, powders and bronzers and all that type of stuff. Which, um, Alyssa and I had a good talk about. I'm pretty sure her name is Alyssa. About, like, uh, when we were trying to match me to the Estee Lauder Double Way, there was one shade that was, she said, definitely stay from the warm. She matched me to, what did I say? C, 6, C2, which is cool. C is for cool. And the neutral also looked pretty good on my skin. But the neutral looked a little bit ashy. The shade Truffle was the other shade that matched to the lightest part of me, or this side of my arm. Look a little ashy gray, so I don't know about that. Which is why I wanted to try a shade that was in the middle of those two, but they didn't have it in the store. So I'm going back on September 29th to get the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and I'm going to get the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation, the two in one concealer and foundation that everyone has been kind of raving about. I'm going to try out that foundation. But yeah, this one is looking really good. It's starting to set to my skin. It's starting to set more and sink in and I guess oxidize a little bit. I feel like it is. it does look a little bit darker than when I first applied it. But it has a beautiful natural matte finish to the skin, as you can see. Really nice finish. And I like it with a brush, how it applied with a brush. It looks really smooth and really good. So my first impression is that I like this. In the next hour or so, I'm going over to a friend's house to meet his dog, and we'll probably take the dog on a walk, so I'll be outside in the heat. It's not super hot today. It's like in the 80s, which is really nice. It's a beautiful day, actually. But um, it is South Carolina, so there's a little bit of humidity, so I'll be able to see how it wears through that. Meeting the dog and stuff and going outside on a little walk. And then I need to run a couple errands. I need to... Pick up some more food to cook, some more meat to cook for this week. I'm gonna get some steak. I think I'm gonna get. I think I'm just gonna get some steak. I also need to get some bleach for my laundry, like a small container of bleach. I have a few other errands I need to run, so I'll be out in a boot a little bit later. But yeah, so far the foundation is looking really, really nice. Let me know what you guys think about how it looks. This is without setting it too with any powder. Oh, and it's still setting a little bit more. Oh, so it's not as bad with transfer. So it does take a little bit to set. But I am gonna set it with some powder and the powder I'm gonna use is the Maybelline Fit Me powder in 360 Mocha. This is the matte and poreless powder. I'm gonna use this big multi-purpose um, NYX brush. I was like, what brand is this? NYX brush. I'm just going to set my face lightly. So we're just going to swirl, pat, pat. But yeah, the finish on this is gorgeous. So I'm excited to try the Beyond Perfecting 2 in concealer because I'm liking this one a lot so far. And you also know that Clinique has like skincare benefits and stuff. They have a whole skincare line. I think they started out as skincare and then started to do makeup. So I'm excited to branch into their products. I also met one of their former New York beauty directors. She works at Ulta now. But yes, I'm liking the way this looks, and it looks even better with this powder over top to make it just a little bit darker. I'm feeling it. Can you tell? And I don't think I'm going to add any highlighter or anything to it. I'm just going to wear it just like this.
and I'll do a final review later on next weekend because I'm gonna wear this to school this week too and see how I feel about it so I'll tell you guys probably in a tutorial what my final impressions on this are but this is just a first impressions and demo you guys can see that I'm setting it lightly with this Maybelline Fit Me powder. But yeah, this is the darkest shade in that foundation. And I really like the way that this looks. This looks awesome. This is, this is nice. And the price is right too, for $25, $27 for this high, higher end foundation. I can do that. This might become my holy grail. We'll see. So that's it. And that completes... Ooh, just look at it up close, y'all. Look how smooth. Of course, minus the acne breakout that I'm having over here. But look how smooth my skin looks, y'all. I'm liking these scars. Okay, so this concludes my first impressions and demo. Just like I said, I will tell you guys later on in the week my final thoughts about this foundation. So far, I'm really, really liking it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about it. Again, this is the shade Sienna. See you guys in the next video. Bye, YouTube.